I think that's what happens is that I just get very, I get it. Um, I get inspired to do things and to be on like a, oh. like a subject. So like, now here, uh, consider example. this. This is really, 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 really good. You're going to like this and it's worth the interruption. We promise you. <laughs> because it's the answer to your question. How can I get the momentum going? Well, and what, keep it going. And yeah. keep it going. So I want it, but what just happened to the momentum? Cut I want it, but. So, oh, we have a question for all of you. So how is it that you are so able to stop the positive momentum with a but. What about stopping the negative momentum with a but? First time. I can't do it, but. I don't know how to do it, but. It isn't working out for me, but maybe there's a chance. I feel unworthy in love, but. I feel worthy in all of these other things. It's about understanding momentum and choosing the momentum that you want to let loose with. So you've been knowing what you don't want, knowing what you do want. And you came into this life experience with a very positive momentum going. And then you've added to it by sifting through life and, and identifying what you want. So there's this really high frequency, good feeling momentum going. It's going. And if you're not doing that thing you do, that momentum will dominate your experience. But you are doing that thing you do. You are climbing on those lower discs and you are letting that momentum carry you away. But you don't have to. And now you know you don't have to. And now what's going to happen to you now that you have this awareness of the discs that you are choosing, whether you know that you're choosing them or not, you're choosing these emotional grid discs. You're choosing them. Now that you know that you're choosing them, now that you know, and there's not one of you who does not now know that every time from this point forward that you are on a disc and momentum's going, you're going to say, I chose that disc. You're going to know that you chose it. And you're also going to know that you could have chosen better if you had made a little bit of an effort, if you were a little more determined about it and that it's easy to get momentum going. It's easy to choose the disc. Ah, here. When you first wake up, before there's any momentum going on any disc, it's really easy to take your pick. So you wake up first thing and you say, let's see. Should I be discouraged today? <laughs> no. Should I be frustrated today? No. Should I be hopeful today? Should I be really, really happy today? Yeah. Yeah, I choose that. And I have another 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Just that much because you've got 17 seconds, 16, almost 17 seconds of leeway to choose, to choose. And if you do it every chance you get, every time you wake up, sleep a lot for the next while. Every time you wake up, if you deliberately choose that and then make a small effort to get some momentum going. It is easy. It's only not easy if the other momentum's going. We admit that. We acknowledge that. We agree with you. It's not easy once momentum going. We do not suggest that you stand at the bottom of the hill and stop the momentum of your car. We do not suggest that at all. Get out of the way. Get out of the way as best you can. Get out of the way. And then all those other grids will just, it doesn't really matter. They just play themselves out. They just do whatever they do. And The other day, Esther was flying high. She woke up feeling good. She's loving feeling good. She's relieved at how good she is feeling, basking and feeling good and made it almost to lunchtime feeling really good. Editing recordings, working on things that she loves to work on, feeling really, really good. And then entered into a conversation with someone. And as the conversation began, Esther consciously said out loud in her own head, there's the potential of getting on a disc I don't want if I continue this conversation. And she thought to herself, I'm not going to go there. But the other person was determined to go there. So Esther applied every tactic of evasion and then was criticized for not engaging. And then Esther engaged. 
but she won't do it again she engaged she said no 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 I'm just feeling really good and I just want to stay there but 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 and before long there it was going the momentum got going it did not turn out well it did not feel good and it took until the next morning to recover from it that's just how momentum is a very well-meaning person a very well-meaning person with lots of facts so now when we say it won't happen again you see Esther saw that coming she consciously knew she knew what dish she'd chosen she was proud of where she was she was determined to stay there but she caved at some realistic conversation because Esther wants to be there for others she wants to be there she doesn't want to seem like she wants to be but it won't happen again because she saw it coming in advance knew what was happening knew what she could do about it she just didn't have enough momentum to do it about it because the other momentum because there have been other conversations and there was there was momentum going there too so it was a sort of learning curve but after when you know that something you don't want is coming you see it coming you know it's coming and you don't do what you know to do to keep it from coming and it comes and you live it out don't you think you learned something and don't you think you launch some rockets of desire about next time I'm gonna be clearer sooner you see you don't have to be sucked in to those lower discs by your own habits of thought by your own memories sometimes a song will trigger you and put you there sometimes smelling something will trigger and put you there but it doesn't have to happen that many times before you say wait a minute I know better than this I have more control over my vibration than this my disc that I choose matters more to me than everything else it matters more to me than having a conversation with someone who thinks I should have a conversation it matters more than everything this disc is my 24-hour choice of where I'm gonna be until my next nap this is where it's at <laughs> it's sort of the way you want to feel about it it's not urgent it's not urgent but once you do it and once you do it and once you do it and before long those who are close to you will see you disengage in the moment that something seems to be going not in the direction that feels good they'll see you zone out oh squirrel <laughs> shiny <laughs> that really is the key you just have to train yourself into different momentum wait say that again you have to train yourself into earlier when it's easy to choose better choices then recognition of when the momentum begins to kick in and it will every time every time this is not something that we are speculating about we are telling you how the laws of the universe are managing this universe and how you when you get in sync with the laws that are consistent will serve you we wore you down didn't we yeah no you you get it I do absolutely good yeah, no, absolutely. you done yeah I think I am really good thank you thanks so much.